here I am. Like, what do you, what do you need? I am here to help you. And so Eli says, I did not call you. Go back to sleep, son. So Samuel goes back to sleep and he hears the Lord again. Samuel. So he runs and he thinks it's Eli again. He runs into Eli's room. He goes into Eli, Eli's room and says, here I am. You called me. And Eli said, I did not call you. Go back to sleep, son. So Samuel's pretty confused, goes back to sleep. And a third time, the Lord calls him, Samuel. So he wakes up, runs to Eli's room again. This time, Eli thinks that maybe it might be the Lord. And so Eli tells Samuel, Samuel, I did not call you. I think it might be the Lord who calls you. So next time he calls you, you should say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel is kind of excited, goes back to sleep. And again, the Lord says, Samuel, Samuel. Now this time he says it two times. He says his name two times. That whenever something is repeated twice in the Bible, it means it's really, really important. And so the Lord says, Samuel, Samuel. Now Samuel recognizes that it might be the Lord. So he says, speak Lord for your servant is listening. And then the Lord reveals himself to Samuel and speaks and tells Samuel the next thing that he's going to do in Israel. Now, this is such a great story because one, Samuel is a kid. I love when God speaks through kids. He spoke through David as a kid. He spoke through Samuel as a kid. And he speaks through Mary was a kid, well, teenager, when he told her that she was going to be pregnant with Jesus. And so God speaks through anyone and he can speak through you. And the other thing I love about this story is Samuel's response. He is just ready. He's up and he's ready to serve. He wants to serve Eli. And then when he finds out that it's actually the Lord calling him, he wants to serve the Lord. Of course he wants to serve the Lord, but the Lord would speak to a kid. It was an honor. And the fact that God spoke to Samuel as a kid was a big deal because he didn't speak through Eli. And what he had to say to Samuel had to do with Eli and his family. And so what is a big deal is that he told Samuel really important things that were going to happen and they actually did happen. And then God raised Samuel up to be a godly, godly, godly man. And he ended up being king. And then King Samuel ended up picking King David, who was also a kid when he became king. And so guys, listen to the Lord. Listen when you pray. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. What if we started all of our prayers like that? That would be powerful. And then have time in our prayer to listen to what God might be saying to us. Now he might not be telling you the big things that are happening in Israel like he did with Samuel, but he might tell you really important things about your family or about you, or about him and his relationship with you, or how he sees you, which is really, really special and important too. So guys, go and listen and enjoy your time in the presence of the Lord. Hi kids, let's practice our memory verse of the month. So for the month of October, we are going to memorize Psalm 28 verse 7. I'm going to teach you some hand motions, so go ahead and follow along with me at home. Psalm 28 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts Him and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise Him. Let's try it one more time. Psalm 28.7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts Him and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise Him. Good job kids!
Hi kids, I'm Mrs. Laura and I am here to share with you the daily challenges that we are trying to do each week. Mondays are Memory Verse Mondays and that means that we're just using this day to practice our hand motions um, with our verse of the month and you can find those in our Kids Corner videos or in our Sunday School videos. Tuesday is Tune in to Kids Corner, okay? We're doing Kids Corner videos at one o'clock every Tuesday with a great teaching, some worship, and of course, our raffle. So tune in to see who wins our raffle each week. Wednesday is Worship Wednesday. So show us what songs you're listening to, what are your favorite worship songs, any hand motions that you have, um, any, any way that you're worshiping, we wanna know. Thursday is Thankful Thursday, and this is just a day to think about what you're thankful for. Check on our Instagram for some of your answers and some of our answers too. Friday is Fun Friday. We know you guys are having fun on Fridays. It's the last day of probably a hard work week in school, so what are you doing for fun on Fridays? Tag us and show us what you're doing. Saturday is Silly Face Saturday. This is one of my favorite challenges of the week. Whatever you're doing on Saturday, take a picture of your silly face, share it with us so we can get a good laugh. Here's mine. Sunday is Sunday School. That's our daily challenge for Sunday is for you to join us at 9 and 11 on ERCLA.TV. There we will watch Sunday School together and we'll be able to interact with our chat, which is the best part. You can ask for prayer, hang out with myself and Miss Kathy and other kids as well. As you're doing these challenges each week, make sure you tag us on Instagram and on Facebook. Our handles can be found on the screen, but for Instagram, it's kids.club.erc and for Facebook, it is just Kids Club. And you will have the opportunity to be featured in one of our upcoming Sunday School videos. So make sure you tag us so we can see. You guys are awesome. Have a great week. Let's see who can do the most challenges. Bye.